G'day, Craigie from Drifter here again. Just want to have a look at this trailer that we here got here for a customer. This one's a little bit different to the standard 7x4 camping trailer that we see. It's a bit wider. So we're going to run you through what we're going to put inside here and how it's all going to work. I'll just open it up. So this is a customer's trailer that they've brought to us. It's a little bit wider than normal. We're going to end up with a kitchen and a tucker box in this side and then two storage boxes in this side. Normally it's just the, the kitchen side and one box. Because this is wider, we can fit a pair in there. So we'll show you what we're going to make for it. We'll get it all fitted up and show you how it works. We can work with most people's trailers. A lot of people have got a trailer with maybe an existing kitchen on it that's not quite right for what they're after. You can always bring it to us here and we can take off what you've got and improve it and put our systems inside and get you a better setup than what maybe you have at home. Okay, we'll have a look when we get the rest of it built, put it in there and we'll show you what we're doing. Cheers. Okay, just an update on what we're doing for the trailer that we've talked about previously. This is gonna be the two storage boxes that go into that trailer. That trailer being wider than a normal seven x four, we've got the ability to fit two storage boxes in that trailer. We'll do one here with the drawers fitted into the front, it gives you a laminated work surface there, quick access to some drawers out of here, and then a big long open storage box to fill the rest of that space. Also, in the trailer in part of a package deal, we can include this tucker box here. This goes in the kitchen side, in line with the kitchen, and fills the customs fitted to fill the rest of the space in the trailer. Great little box, you can pick it out, you can put it on the ground, put your tucker in it, put your bits and pieces in it, you can use it for a seat if you want to, you can stand on it if you had to. Let's go and have a look over here where we do some of the work on the kitchen. So in here's one of the spray booths. This is the spray booth for the black stainless work that we do. Uh, when the person gets their kitchen, gets their order, they fit all the parts to it, they get it all laminated, all sanded up and ready to spray. They'll bring it in here, spray it with a black stain first, then we spray it with a timber sealer. The timber sealer seals all the grains up, tightens it up and makes it ready to sand. We'll then sand it back in here with an orbital sander, smooth it all down with a sponge pad, blow it all down, get all the dust out of it, and then spray it with a gloss top coat lacquer. The boys out here are working on some of the storage boxes and the drawers that, that you've just seen inside. When the builder inside gets their order, they'll cut out the box on the saw, they bring it out here, give it to the boys to put together, and then send it inside for them to do the finishing work to. Same with the storage boxes, the kitchens are supplied to the builder as a raw product for them to do their work to. As you can see here with this kitchen, the person that's building that has gone and cut their parts out on the saw, and they will come along now and fit all their parts onto this kitchen, get it all fitted, working nice together, all the gaps nice and even. Then they take their parts for this kitchen, they'll laminate it, they'll sand it all up and get it ready for the spray booth. So that's a bit of an update on how we do what we do for what's going into this trailer. Next we'll show you the finished product, fit it out into the trailer. Cheers. So we finished the work on this trailer here. We showed you the empty trailer, talked about what we're going to do to it, had a little look at some of the building processes for what goes into it. We've done the whole fit out on it now and it's ready to go for the customer to come and collect. So I thought I'd give you a look through it. As I said, this trailer is a little bit different to your average 7x4 box trailer. This one's a 7x5. So it's 5 foot across giving us the ability to add another storage box inside the trailer. So it's a really good setup because you will get the storage box with the drawers in front, which gives you the quick access to the trailer. And you've also got a long open storage box in the middle there, giving you lots of room for storage for long items. I'll pop a few bits out and show you what we've got. So on this side with this kitchen, this trailer being hinged on the passenger side, we've got the kitchen and the tucker box on this side. You can pop your tucker box out. Great little storage unit. Little lid strapped down. Internal storage in there for all sorts of bits and pieces. Pretty sturdy. You can probably sit on it, maybe stand on it. And in this trailer, we've got a slide out left hand side kitchen. This one's the DPO version of the kitchen. Swing your legs down, lock them into place, pull the kitchen out and you're ready to go. I'll show you another trailer we've got here in a minute, which has got the sister kitchen to this, which is the DPOR kitchen. And it's good to point out the difference between the two kitchens. The way I'd describe it would be that the DPO has a little bit quicker access to get to the inside of the kitchen, whereas the DPOR has more bench space. So this is the DPO. Once you've got your kitchen slid out like that, to get to the inside is super quick. 
cupboard door on the end, latches straight outside. The three drawers are latched to the outside of the kitchen. And then to get to the inside, one bungee strap there, lid comes up, little finger latch there, front comes down. The corner bench here is held on by a strap, swings up into place, and you're inside the whole kitchen just like that, ready to go. So while there's not as much bench space on the DPO as in comparison to a DPOR, it's a lot quicker to get inside to it. Pack it away is the same, folding end down, strap it away, front comes up, lid comes down, strap that on, and it's all packed away. Close the door, and you're done. Then we've got the storage boxes in here. Big long open storage box there, with a little backpacker screwed inside there to act as a counterweight so that you don't have to pull the box all the way out, drop the legs down, just to access some of the sort of front contents of this box. Sliding on the Teflon skids, slide straight back in, really easy. Storage box with front drawers is really good. If you just pull it out that far, you've got another laminated workspace there and a pair of drawers here with lots of room for internal storage for all your quick access items. So when you get to your camp, you've pulled your kitchen out, got your kitchen set up, you can pull this out and have extra bench space for working away as well. Again, all of the units that we make here, got the drifter leg systems, lock down, click into place, adjustable at each end, and really simple to pack away. Just got to give it a little slide towards yourself. Pick the legs up. They lock back into place under the box. And away it goes. Same with the kitchen. Little slide. Pick the legs up. Slide it all the way in. It's all tucked away. Tuck a box back inside. And there it is, finished product in that trailer, 7x15. We can fit out your 7x4 trailer, we can fit out your 7x5 trailer. Um, if you've got uh, a trackabout camper, if you've got a GIC, if you've got an MDC, a Black Series, not happy with the kitchen and the storage solutions in that, get in touch with us here and we can put a system like that in there. Kitchen, tucker box, open storage boxes, boxes with drawers, whatever you like. I'll shut this one up and show you the other trailer. This one over here is really good because it doesn't currently have the top on it yet. They're in the process of building that onto there. So that gives you a really good bird's eye view of how everything packs away in the trailer and how much storage space you've got when everything's put in there. I'll drop the tailgate down on this one and show you what's in here. Similar setup again in terms of it's a package deal, which is where we fill the trailer with our stuff. You've got your little tucker box on this side. This time it's a right hand side kitchen. Put that to the side over there. This customer's gone with the larger box next to the kitchen and then the smaller box to the side. As you can see, quick access here. All your commonly used bits and pieces and then long storage there for any of the larger pieces that you want to take with you. I'll just set up the other kitchen here and show you the difference between this, the DPOR, and that, the DPO. Slide the kitchen out, drop the legs down, lock them into place. Slide the kitchen out until the hinge of the cupboard door is basically to the outside of the trailer. They've both got that cupboard door latched in there, but this being the DPOR has much more bench space than the DPO. Take the folding end here, Set that up. This lid, which is the top of your return bench, held on with these four straps. Take that off. Set it up there for a second. Take your front out. Undo these little thumb screws. Legs come out. Brackets on the bottom here. Into the strip of timber on here. Stand that up. Level it off. Tighten up your thumb screws. On your top of your return bench has the big brackets here going into the big timber strip there. Turn that over. Line that up. Make sure your leg goes into the rebate underneath the lid so that ends secured. And there you have it. So while it takes a little bit more to set up the VPOR, 
and a little bit longer to get to the inside of the kitchen, you end up with this return bench space, which is a lot of bench space. It's a great preparation area for when you want to do your camp cooking. It's similar to the other kitchen, you've got the drawers in the middle, you've got the washing, washing up tub there, little hand pump to connect to some water source, and then you're good to go. Back away is the same, lid comes off, front comes up and out, fold it down, tighten your thumb screws back off, pop it back in behind its bevel, tuck it in and it stays away there, lid back on the top, make sure your straps are untucked from underneath your bed. Straps back on. And that's done too. Folding in, tucks away. Give the kitchen a little rock. Click the legs up underneath. Back into the trailer. Tucker box goes in. And you're all packed away. The beauty of what we do here with the package deals is changing how people use their trailers when you've got a roofed uh, trailer top tent like that, you've got that big heavy bed base that you've got to lift up, you've got to try and pull bits and pieces out of there, or you've got to try and crawl in from the tailgate to get tubs out of there, people pulling it out with poles, try and get to the inside. With what we do, you never need to lift the bed base up ever again, everything just slides straight out from the tailgate, it's super quick access, super functional, super easy, and that's the idea behind what we do here. That's a bit of a look at a couple of trailers that we've done. As I said, if you've got a camper trailer and you want to change your kitchen setup, your storage setup, you want to make life easier for yourself and have everything sliding out, then get in touch with us here at Drifter and we'll be able to do something like this for you. Thanks for watching. Send us a like, send us some comments, send us some rain if you've got any, and um, talk to you soon. Cheers.